guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Maria, I am the owner of Baffling Beats AT, a shop where I sell handmade beaded jewelry over on Etsy, and also a second shop, Baffling Beats for You, where I sell check glass beads and some brass supplies. If you're interested in any of my shops, please find the links down below. I always note them down in the description box. I am back from my vacation. I've stayed with my family for about a week and, you know, saw some friends, uh, visited, visited some other cities nearby. And yeah, I've been back since Sunday afternoon. Uh, thank you so much for all your orders that came in while I was away and I'm in a bit of a pickle if I think you can call it that <laughs> Because while I was away, I was like Okay, there are coming orders in and I know that I that I don't have that much shredded paper left, you know packaging material for all my packages to to soften the blows uh, if anything happens and I should have just ordered some while I was away. So now uh, I've managed to send out six orders, but there are still five to go and I don't have any shredded paper left. So I need to send out three orders tomorrow and I need to get that order from the post office tomorrow. So that means that after work I have to run to the post office, get the shredded paper, pack, package up all those orders and then I need to get back to the post office on time uh, before it closes because those need to go out of the EU and that's why I need those post office ladies, you know, for all the custom stuff. and and things so yeah that's completely my fault and I'm sorry if you have to wait a few more days than usual for your orders but yeah I mean you could argue you you know you were on a break doesn't really matter uh, I ordered more shredded paper on Sunday and it arrived today but I wasn't home because I was at work so I need to get it tomorrow but it's in the works and all those orders should go out by tomorrow evening. So thank you so much for all your orders, all your support while I was away. Um, it really means a lot to me. I need to finish one of those earrings of one of the earring pairs that was bought. So that's what I'm doing next. And then I will need to prepare everything that needs to go into those packages tomorrow so that I only have to package it up and print out all those customs forms. That's that. But, so on top of it all, I have an, can you call it an appointment? I don't know. Someone from the moving company is coming by tomorrow. So they will need to check how much furniture I have that they will need to move to the new apartment. So yes, it worked out with the new apartment. I want to move this month, so in April still. And yeah, they're coming by tomorrow. They will need to check how much stuff I have. Yay! <laughs> we will see what they... Yeah, we will see. So they will need to move all my furniture. Everything else is not that important because I have the help of some lovely friends and colleagues of mine who would also transport some of all those things, uh, you know, some boxes for me if need be. But yeah, I need to get all the furniture into the new apartment. So that's also tomorrow. So my afternoon will be pretty packed. And then after I'm done with all the orders and the moving company left, I will need to measure my furniture so that I can plan where to put everything in the new apartment. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I should get the keys on Friday. 
So when you're watching this, hopefully I will already have the keys. As you can imagine, it's quite a lot. There probably won't be much beading in the next one to two or maybe three vlogs because I all, yeah, because it's a lot. And I need to get most of it done by June because in June I will leave for three weeks of vacation. And of course, please keep in mind that during my move, I will increase the processing time in both my shops because I won't be able to get to my beads or my jewelry. Because first I will need to figure out where to place things and how to organize in the new space. I think for now that is all. That's why I will finish that earring so that it's all done for the order. And also, thank you so much for buying these, you know. These are some of the unique earring pairs with those sodalite caps. I've shown them before, so these will go out. They are unique. They will not return to my shop. Um, all my Rako earrings are unique, so if you get a pair, you will have the only one of that design or color combination. And also some Naomi hoop earrings were sold. These ones. Very happy with these. And yeah, and I'm currently working on some Odoti mini fringe earrings. Aren't they cute? Yeah, I'm currently working on the second one. And after I'm done with that, I will need to package those bead orders that I got. So yeah, let's make that earring and hopefully I will manage to prepare all those orders.
I got my crinkle paper today. So finally all those orders can go out. And yeah, I'm quite relieved that I can get it done all today. Maybe, if I have enough time. I still have two hours before the post office closes. So, yeah. The most, the most important ones are the orders that need to go out today. Um, there are still two more that need to go out until Friday, I think. But, yeah. They aren't as urgent. second one just to be prepared okay so I will pack up these three orders and then there are two more to go so also it is now 3 p.m. and the moving company just left uh, yeah, they gave me an estimate uh, what it will cost me and I am not too happy. Uh, I will need to ask my friend what he paid last time when we moved here together. Uh, I mean, we had less furniture last time that we moved. The guy said that there will be four people involved four okay but i mean then they are quicker but still that's a lot of movers and yeah i'm not too sure um but i probably don't have a choice anyway because i want to move in two weeks time and there's just no time to organize anything else so I'm just wondering I put a name tag on there but I think it's the wrong one yeah I completely mixed them up doesn't really matter I mean I sent out the, the right packages still <laughs> so the name tag really wasn't a help but it's fine uh, so anyway yeah so I want to move in two weeks time and I need them, so... That's how it will go. Yeah, but I will start packing today, I guess. And I will move the first few boxes this weekend. Because I will get the keys on Friday. And then the weekend before the move, I will need to... The opposite of assemble is disassemble? I'm not sure, but you know, I need to prepare the furniture for, for, the, move, for the movers, so that they are quicker and I don't have to pay extra. So I will need to do that. And now... I'm out of tape, but yeah, that's the current state. I will need to send out um, the confirmation email later today to them so that they know that 
I accept their offer. Mm, what else? I'm not sure. To be honest, I feel pretty overwhelmed right now. And you know, of course, I could close my shop and or increase the processing time already. But I don't want to. Even though I know that it would, pro it would probably be the healthy choice. Uh, yeah. You know how it is. You hold out as long as you can. Also more good news, all my taxes are done, so that lovely colleague of mine will upload everything for me by the end of this week, so then I'm all done with that. And there's one last thing to worry about. And then I will know what to do by next year, how to sort all my bills and all my receipts, and then all will be good. So when I'm done with taping those boxes closed, I will need to put on the addresses and print the customs forms. Uh, have I mentioned before? I don't think that I have. Um, the shipping has increased again. Shipping costs have increased, not slightly, but pretty substantially. And I am absolutely not amused by this. And that's why I will consider changing the postal service that I use. Because I've stuck to the Austrian Post Service because they were the cheapest, even though I had to do everything manually. But now that the prices have increased again, so the first price increase this year I think was in February, and now again I think it was by 15 cents, and now by April they increased, so they pretty much changed up all the shipping options and now everything costs 80 cents to 2 euros more and that's quite hefty if you ask me and yeah that's why I will consider switching to a different service and then I'm able to do pretty much everything from home also everything um, that's got to do with customs. So, yeah, that was quite a surprise on, on Monday, I must say. But if you were wondering why, pre why my prices have increased, that's the reason. I'm not seeing anything of that money because it's going straight. To shipping. So I got these three done. I will send out the other two tomorrow because I have the time and yeah these are urgent and I want to get them out ASAP. So I will do that and then I will probably get the first few boxes from the seller 
I guess I will start packing then. Uh, because I have so much more stock now that I've been in this studio for more than a year. I really don't know how many boxes I will need. Uh, the good thing is that not everything needs to come with me right away. I can get more stuff later on, so it's not that important to get everything packed right now. I just need to have the most important things with me right when I move. I have these moments where I can't even think straight because I feel so overwhelmed, but it's going to be fine, I keep telling me. So I will get out the packages and then I will see what I'm going to do next. See you in a bit. So yeah, now's the question, which things I won't need next week when my shop is still open? Uh, yeah, I just need to start picking up. There are so many beads. Look at this. the old jewelry that I made at some point. It's full to the rim. And even more. what I found. <laughs> I think I can really throw these out. Those are the woven beads. Some of them. 
Let me know. Look at them. Would you be interested in getting some for free? Because I don't want to sell these. And but yeah, you can you can put them on things, you know? They're quite pretty. I will show you a close-up later on. this this is a dorodango you pretty much shape it by hand out of wet wet soil and you let it dry and you shape again and you let it dry and you smoothen it just with the help of your hand so yeah, I made this by hand and I think it's so fun and depending on what soil you use, you can make all different kinds of bolts and I love this thing. I think I made this maybe eight years ago and it's just normal garden soil and probably some clay. This is such a cool thing, guys. You need to try it. This way they aren't lonely. So back to those woven beads. I have no clue how many I have. I have all of these. They are made with uh, bugle beads. And I have this stack of boxes. And it's probably all woven beads. So, because I don't sell these anymore, because actually they aren't as long lasting as I would like them to be. Let's just give them away, you know, for free. Oh, that's refill packs for Toho beads. More beads. Okay, I won't give those away. But yeah, more woven beads. Look at all of these. So yeah, you can put them on your braids, on locks. You know, pretty much your hair, um, you can wear them yourself as accessories, but you can also put them on bags or on your pullover or, or on your hoodie or 
I don't know, some kind of string or rope, you know, as a, as a decoration. And I have them in and even more. <laughs> um, I have them in four different sizes. And let's do it like that. I don't always want to add them to your orders because if people aren't watching this vlog, they probably won't know what this is. So why put it in there if they just will throw it out? Because they won't know how to use it or what it is. Um, let's do it like that. If you order something from me, either in my bead shop or in my jewelry shop, you can put a message for me in there. You know, before you order anything, before you pay or check out, you can put a message. And let's say, you know, just tell me. Tell me that you would like to get a woven bead. And you will get one woven bead per order value of 40 euro in my jewelry shop and 30 euro in my bead shop. Because in my jewelry sh shop the shipping is included. And then if you order beads of a value of 40 euro in my bead shop, you will get one woven bead and let's say you order jewelry from a jewelry shop with a value of 90 euro, you will get two woven beads. If you tell me in a comment in your, you know, in your notification, which is part of your order, that you would like a woven bead. Because otherwise I won't know that you know of my woven beads and that you want them. So let's do it like that. Uh, I will put it here again, what to do, so that you can get some for free and use them as decoration, wherever you like. And I will also put it down into a comment and pin it. So if you would like to get some for free, follow the instructions, please. <laughs> And yeah, and then I don't have to throw them out and uh, I get rid of them. So that's perfect. I will just combine all of them in one box. And yeah, let's see how many there are. They are all made with brass. So. By now it turned a little darker, of course. <laughs> there are so many! <gasps> I can't even tell you how many there are. A hun That's more than a hundred woven beads. Guys. Do you have any clue how many working hours these are? They don't even fit. They don't fit. Look at all of these. Look at them. Please tell me if you want some. And then I've got some with bugle beads. So, that are those. I would love to give them away, so please help me do it. You will get the most use out of them if you don't always put them on and off things. So just put it on somewhere and just leave it, you know, because I used the usual beading thread with these. And because those brass findings have sharp edges, the thread will tear eventually if you put them on things and pull them off things again, okay? If you want to use them for quite some time, just leave them be. And they don't fit. Well, kind of. 
So this thing is full with woven beads. Okay. If you order from a bead shop, from a jewelry shop, just leave me a little comment, a little message where you tell me that you are interested in these woven beads. I will pick some for you and I will add them to your order. Okay? Depending on your order value. Okay. I will keep on packing for quite a while. And yeah, I guess I will see you in the next clip. So maybe tomorrow. So this is the new space. Uh, excuse the echo. I got the keys today and in a few days I will move and there's still lots of packing to do and yeah this is basically the first half of a day in this apartment. Um, I'm still living at the old place, so today I would like to plan a little bit where to put things. And yeah, I got some measurements of my biggest pieces of furniture with me, so I will need to check that because right now I really don't have a clue how I want to work with this space. So. So in the clip before, you saw the main living space, which is going to be my living room, my studio, slash dining room. So it's probably going to look like this. Table over there for dining, couch and living area over here, and then over there, there will be my, there will be my studio space with all the storage and the, my huge tables where I work at. And, and yeah, and then I got two separate rooms. Uh, one will be, of course, the bedroom and the spare room. No clue. We will see. And yeah, of course, I got a kitchen and a bathroom. I guess I will measure some things. And so when it's moving day, that I can tell the company and the people where to put stuff. I think some of you are interested in an apartment tour, but I'm not a live vlogger, so I'm not really confident with showing my whole space, especially not my bathroom and my, my bedroom, because that's, that's private, I'm not a live vlogger. I vlog my small business, and since this is going to be in my new studio space, of course I want to share it with you, but otherwise, I'm really not too sure. Leave it down in the comments if you'd be interested. Uh, but I'm not feeling comfortable with sharing all that stuff because I still live here and I do not only work here. So. But let me know what you think.
Look guys, I think everything fits. So these are my largest furniture pieces that I've noted down. And yeah, this is the plan, how it's going to be, I guess. So, bedroom. It seems like my huge closet, closet or whatever you want to call it, um, cupboard. No, it's not a cupboard. You know, where I put all my things in there. It seems to fit and my bed also. And then, yeah, this is going to be the dining space. I will need to buy a table and some chairs. And this is going to be the sofa, which I also need to buy. And then this is going to be my little working area, working space with my large tables my shelves that you currently always see in the background you know when i'm in my space and then yeah those are the three shelves and uh i still don't know where to place my packaging material maybe next to no here uh, no i don't know i will see Maybe some place in this corridor space. Maybe there's uh, some. Maybe I can fit it in there. And yeah, I guess this is going to be it. So this is my bathroom, the kitchen, and my spare room. And since I don't really know what I want to use this room for. I right now would like to leave it empty for now because I don't want to place things in there and be unhappy about it and then need to remove everything again if I don't want to place stuff in there in the first place. So we'll see. I want to work with the space and it seems to fit. So. These are awesome news, I think. In case you're wondering, no, I don't have a TV because I don't use it anyway. Uh, because when would I? <laughs> if I have my business and go to work and sometimes I need to sleep too. So no, there's no TV plan for now. What could be a problem is that I will use lots of table space right in this corner, which I'm not happy about. I will need to consider that, but you know, moving around a table isn't that much of a deal. I guess there's not much else to tell you. So yeah, I guess this was a little different to my usual studio vlogs, <laughs> but you know, lots, lots is going to change in April. Uh, today is Friday the 12th of April. I still have one and a half weeks until I will move. And yeah, right now the processing time in my shops is still normal, you know, one to three days. I would love to keep it that way, but it really depends on when I will feel the need to pack all my beads and how sure I am about this floor plan, you know. Because it would actually be ideal to disassemble all my furniture uh, the weekend before my move and also pack all the boxes. Then I will move and then I will still have enough time until the middle of the week to send out all the orders that may come in within those days. But 
of course I could have it easier if I just increase the processing time but I will think about it and yeah let me know what you think of the space of course you didn't see everything and because I'm still not sure whether I actually want to show you but I love it in here I think it's a great apartment it's very roomy and airy um, the ceiling is quite high so it feels very spacious which is actually quite different to the feel of my earlier studio because it was so cramped and of course there will be lots of furniture in here by the end too this room is so big it's, it's a good feeling so yeah I actually can't wait to settle in So for now, it's a goodbye again. If you enjoyed this little moving slash live slash studio vlog, please consider leaving a like, leaving a comment. If you want to share anything, um, let me know what you think about those woven beads. Let me know about, you know, this space, this new apartment. And if you want to see more, please consider subscribing so that you know when I upload a new video and yeah hopefully I will see you next time in the next video and maybe I will already live here no clue I don't know <laughs> but see you next time bye